Good morning, everybody. Thanks for watching The Morning Show here on Global. Bahar Niramala is here. She is a beauty and travel writer and a makeup artist as well. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm super. We're talking about how to look fabulous at the beach instead of greasy and ratty. That's right. <laughs> Perfectly straight. Which can generally happen when you start to get all sweaty and hot. So why don't we just start here and we'll work our way down. Absolutely. We figured we'd start from the hair as well and work our way down the body. Okay. So the first thing we're going to talk about is actually the two products right in the front. These guys? That's right. The first one you're touching right now is a Mark Anthony a Frizz Smoother. This is actually a leave-in conditioner spray which has a UV filter because a lot of us don't seem to uh, take into consideration that not only can our skin get mm -hmm. damaged by the sun but our hair is also damaged mm -hmm. by the sun as well. Yeah, exactly. You, you, you always think we're getting that great beachy hair but it also just gets it's frazzled dehydrated. Exactly. It's dehydrated and it needs a lot of moisture so this really helps to um, give that protective barrier layer What's this fun and at thing? the beach that is from the body shop that's the um, honey bronze shimmering dry oil it has a beautiful coconutty smell and a wonderful bronze shimmer that you apply to the body but I have naturally curly hair and mm -hmm. I actually apply this all over my hair when I'm at the beach because it takes care of those little kinks and the frizzies oh, and it has that nice. shimmery effect so it makes my hair it look all glowy and tropically absolutely fun um, and then at the let's say at the end of the day at the beach you kind of want a refresher you don't have time necessarily to go home and redo your entire face and hair. Mm. Uh, dry shampoo. If you've ever used it, you know it's your best friend. Yep. And we have two options. I have and I agree. And you, and you know that's true. So that first one is a travel size from Batiste. That uh, The green pattern one It's called Tropical. Totally my favorite. Absolutely perfect to toss in your beach bag. Won't weigh you down. And then there's a vegan option from Lush and it's called No Drought. This one, uh, you just dash it into your hand and then rub it into the roots, let it dry, brush through and you're good oh, it's to a, go. It's a powder in there. I, that's right. Dry shampoo is new to my life and I don't know what I did before <laughs> I swear <laughs> wash your hair it's every day like the great exactly every hour <laughs> it's the greatest thing what do we have here so we're moving on to the face now uh, and uh, we're talking about obviously uh, your sunscreen first and foremost important thing we have two options here one is from Elizabeth Arden it's a uh, the Prevage triple defense sheer uh, lotion sunscreen mm -hmm. it has an SPF of 50 and it actually has a brush applicator at the end which makes it a lot easier oh. to go on and apply yeah so hands-free application which is kind of nice Oh, and uh, you fun. just twist it up. Yep, very easy to use. I blob it all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one is our certified organic option. That's from Green Beaver, and that has an SPF of 30. That one is uh, non-whitening. It's waterproof and it's fragrance-free, which are three fantastic things you would want out of an SPF if you have sensitive skin. Yeah. If you have a little bit of more color in your skin, and you notice that SPFs actually go on white and leave that film. Yeah, that happens to me all the time with SPFs. Drive me nuts. So then, that's a fantastic option for that. Okay. Which and one next? The then we're moving on to makeup. So if you don't want to necessarily put on a full face foundation, mm -hmm. uh, a great option is Dermalogica Skin Perfect Primer. So Love a them. primer, yeah, primer from Dermalogica will help to keep the uh, oil at bay. It also has a touch of color and a little bit of shimmer. So it's going to make you look like you have slightly flawless skin without having to go and pile on 17 different products, which is great. Really, let me look closer. It's at fantastic. That. I'm actually wearing it this morning just to make me look a little bit more awake and glowy. You look fantastic. Thank you. Okay, good to know. And let's say you do want to go ahead and put on a little bit more makeup, you're going to want to go waterproof at the beach. Regardless of if you're getting in the water or not, you're going to be sweating and it's going to be really yeah. hot out there, your makeup's going to melt. So Essence has uh, the Get Big Lashes Waterproof Mascara. Is that this one? That's right. And next to it is the Liquid Liner, which is also in a waterproof formula. Great thing about Essence is I believe their product uh, Price points are all four ninety nine and under for every single really? every single item in there. Yeah. But the thing line. too, I'm sure you would uh, advise as a makeup artist, go easy. Yeah, go, there's, the beach. No, there's no need to go overboard. A little touch here and there is going to make you feel better. It's not going to make that much of a difference to your look. Yeah. But go waterproof. Super important. Nothing makes me feel like summer more than the smell of Hawaiian tropic. <laughs> I swear, just you smell Hawaiian tropic and go, oh, beach. It's totally, it's that summertime beach smell. Yeah. So moving on to the body, um, talking about, before we get into SPF, we're actually going to talk about uh, self-tanning lotion or self-tanning tanning lotion yes. because a lot of, yeah, a lot of people are nervous about the fact that they're not really uh, tanned before they hit the beach mm -hmm. and they're looking to have a little bit of color. These are two great options. One is from Mary Kay and it's a subtle tanning lotion which will take about maybe two, three days to a week to actually get that color uh, gradually to build up on your skin okay. and the other one is from Saint Tropez and that's a bronzing mousse so that's going to be an instant color within I've about heard a lot about 
the Saint Tropez. Very popular. They go on really smooth, non-irritating. You're not going to have that orangey glow with Saint Tropez. Yep. And the mousse comes with a wonderful sponge applicator for your hand, so you're not worried about that oh, orange. Oh, when you have, yeah. you look like you've been eating um, like cheeses. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> it. You're not going to have to worry yeah. about that. And then sunscreen. Hawaiian Tropic has come out with fantastic um, two options. One is for oilier skin. One is for drier skin. The um, Sheer Touch has uh, an oil-free formula. That's this one over here, an mm -hmm. SPF of 85, I believe, which is nice and strong and up wow. there. Wow. Yeah, super strong you and powerful. Vacation on the sun. And then nice. there's the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration that actually has ribbons of moisture going through it. You can see the different colors that are mm -hmm. going through it. That means your skin's not going to be uh, protected from the sun, but also you're going to be fully hydrated while you're at the beach, which nice. is important. We're down to about a minute. You want to blaze through Absolutely. some of these? Absolutely. So aftercare products. Your skin is totally dehydrated. You're going to need to replenish it. So from Melita, we have a sea buckthorn body oil, which is great for replenishing the uh, skin's natural moisture barrier. I used uh, the Walita products for my kids, and I loved them. They're fantastic, yeah. all around fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then let's say you want to refresh your scent as well. You don't have time to go take a shower at home as well. You're mm -hmm. going to want to look at some deodorants as well as perfumes from the Demeter Fragrance Library. These guys are wonderful. We've picked a couple scents. Oh. Yeah, one is ocean, one is salt air, which is very fitting. Okay. And the other ones are pure soap, which smells like you've just stepped out of a shower, and paperback, because you might as well take a paperback with you to the beach. That's a right. And then, what's this about? Fulton Umbrellas has come out with this wonderful UPF 50, which is ultraviolet protective factor of 50 plus, um, and it's, wow. it has a silver coating on the inside. Yeah, so it's going to give oh, you okay. like double duty protection of sun, uh, of like sunscreen or sun protection while you're at the beach. You can carry it around. I carry mine around in my purse all the time. And get yourself a big old hat. <laughs> That's the way to go, right? <laughs> Perfect protection. They, uh, Tropicana actually just sent us some stuff recently, including this hat, and it was like, <laughs> wow. I actually first thought I looked okay in it. But <laughs> you do. It's, it's very celebrity. Like, Hello. It's nice. That's right, if you want to hide out. Thank you so much, Bahar no Niramwala. She is a beauty and travel writer. All great suggestions. Thank you. To be looking hottie at the beach. <laughs>